Well, as I highlighted yesterday, when it comes to Liz Truss and the EU, it's going to be a matter of deal or no deal when it comes to the Northern Ireland Protocol. But in a, a development that has really sent Ramona's nuts already, and I highlighted this in my newsletter this morning, do go to heva.com news where Richard Tice the reform UK party leader has actually written a piece today you go and check that out but Steve Baker has become uh, the new Minister of State for the Northern Ireland office and what's really interesting about this particularly of course when you've got the Northern Ireland protocol bill uh, taking unilateral action making changes to the protocol put forward is that you already had Chris Heaton Harris another big Brexiteer as the Northern Ireland Secretary and you've now got uh, Baker who I know a lot of you are big fans of he is now the Minister of State for the Northern Ireland office as the Bruges group put it there I to be a fly on the wall at the European Commission when they learned that Chris Eaton Harris would be appointed Secretary of State for Northern Ireland and then again today when word reached them that Steve Baker would serve as his lieutenant now don't forget when it comes to the protocol bill that has already been backed uh, by MPs, a big majority, I don't think a single Tory MP voted against it, but a big battle in the Remain dominated Lords. You've got the DUP leader, Sir Geoffrey Donaldson there, saying that Lords had already started salivating in columns and tweets at the prospect of being able to delay or even derail the bills. And that battle ahead, I think, and the need not to buckle to Brussels is, I think, why you've got a Brexiteers Chris Heaton Harris and Steve Baker there both taking prominent roles in the government. Don't forget, it was back in March that Baker actually said Article 16 should be triggered and he has now got a role in government there. Let me know what you make of this in the comments below, guys. Do go to heva.news to get my newsletter and of course as ever, cheers for watching.